Today we're going to set up and customize an automatic indoor garden. My friends over at Click and Grow sent me a prototype of their new Wall Farm mini product, which lets you grow more than 30 plants at a time indoors using LED lights and an automatic irrigation system. The system is comprised of LED lighting strips, water reservoirs, little plastic pods for the plants, and a plywood housing. The seeds come in these packaged little capsules that are made of this smart soil that they invented, which provides all the nutrients that the plants are going to need. The design and business model is similar to those coffee pod machines, which is great from a convenience standpoint, but it does lock you into a specific type of system when it comes to refills. I will though in the future try to experiment with putting in normal seeds in potting soil. Once all the seeds are in, you can fill up the cistern with water this amount of water normally lasts me about three weeks. The LED lights are on a timer, so once you plug it in, it goes on and off automatically to provide the plants with the right amount of light. It took about four or five days for the plants to sprout, and then I removed the little plastic domes. It took another four to five weeks for the basil to be ready to be harvested, and also to start to see the beginnings of small tomatoes. For this first crop, I'm growing a combination of peppers, tomatoes, basil, and lettuce. Overall, I really like the design of this system and I appreciate the fact that they use plywood instead of particle board to make the housing. But from my particular apartment, I want something even more space efficient. So I decided to try and make a wall mounted version using the hardware components and technology components in this system. The garden pieces can be quite heavy when they're completely filled with water. So I used a stud finder to make sure that I was attaching a series of L brackets through the drywall and into the 2x4 studs. I used a combination of 5 inch and 3 inch galvanized L brackets that I had spray painted white. The control panels for all the lights comes in a box and that was screwed to a piece of plywood and I just kept it on the plywood and then used that to make the bottom shelf. The LED light strips have a pretty substantial aluminum housing and it has these nice clips that slide along the top that make it easy to mount. I bolted the three inch L brackets to the five inch L brackets to create sort of a U shape that's gonna house the cistern for the gardens. The extra hole in the three inch L bracket allows me to mount the lower LED light strip. I had a few more L brackets to keep the gardens from sliding off and then loaded them up and plugged them in and was good to go. For the next crop of plants, I think I'm gonna switch out the lettuce with strawberries. So keep an eye on my Instagram. I'll be posting updates of how I use this garden system there. For more information, check out my website. And if you wanna see what I'm working on next, be sure to follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks, bye.